Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mark Roden. Welcome back to the channel. And on today's video, we're going to be going over my personal top 10 cars that I think you should get for under $2,000. couple disclaimers you know I love my disclaimers disclaimer number one this is just a personal list it has no facts in it whatsoever it's all just my opinion okay uh, number two these cars that you're gonna be finding under two thousand dollars are not gonna be in good condition they will be in very poor condition with most likely a lot of miles on them so just keep that in mind they're not gonna be you know top of the line cars they are meant to be fun daily driver beatable cars and number three is that most of these cars is pretty much meant for high schoolers. Uh, if you're getting into the car scene and you're 16 years old and you're like, oh, I can finally buy my first car, what do I want to buy? These are the cars that I think you should buy first. Not because of the best starter car, but because they're the cheapest car that you could put a lot of damage on without having to worry about it. All right, so starting off the list, number 10 is the good old Honda Civic. Specifically, the EG models of the Honda Civic. I think that's like the 94, 95, those ones. Uh, they came with a 1.4 liter inline four, which is extremely tiny if you really think about it, but it made around 100 horsepower. The good thing about Civics is that they're front wheel drive, not meant to be race cars, but they sure can be. That's awesome to me. They're not built to be a race car, but you can build them to be a race car if that makes any sense. I don't know if it made sense there, but these cars are the definition of a reliable daily driver and they don't mind getting a little feisty around the racetracks, if you know what I mean. Another great thing about Civics is that they're extremely easy to work on. So if you are just getting into the mechanics of cars and you want to learn how to work on a car, Honda Civic is the perfect place to go. The engine bay has enough room. The engine is tiny. doesn't have a lot of expensive high class parts. You learn the basics of a car with a Honda Civic. It's a great starter car. Number nine is the BMW 328 or 323i's. Coming with a 2.6 liter straight six, making 193 horsepower. I personally love BMWs and everything about them, but I will say that I have heard they have a lot of engine problems and they like to break down. So definitely keep that in mind if you're going to buy one for under $2,000, because most likely if it's under $2,000, it's high miles. Um, they are rear wheel drive. So if you live in a winter area, be careful about that. But if you want to drift, there you go. Uh, and 193 horsepower is plenty for a new driver, especially one that's rear wheel drive, especially a car that's rear wheel drive. Um, the BMWs have a huge community around them as well, so they can be helpful. All those you know, people in the community can be helpful when you're trying to learn how to work on cars. It's not gonna be the easiest car to learn how to work on, but because of the size of the community, you will definitely have a lot of help and it will help out a lot. I said help like five times there. Okay, so number eight is the first generation Subaru Forester coming with a 2.5 liter inline four making 165 horsepower, but they are heavier. So they're not really that fast. This car is more for the people who are always whipping the homies around on the weekends, but they want to have a cool car while doing it. There's plenty of space for all your high school needs like binders and, and uh, I don't know, jewel pods. They look really good when slammed to the ground with some clean wheels. And I've even seen one that's painted like a taxi that they take to the drift track, which that's pretty sick. I'll try to find a clip of it to put in here, but I don't know if he's on YouTube. Um, they also are very good for off-roading capabilities. Obvi obviously, I'm a lowered car guy, so I always talk about how good they look when they're lowered. But the Subaru Forester, the main part of their community is actually lifting it and taking it off-road for fun like that. So. If you like that kind of stuff, the Subaru Forester is probably the perfect car for you. Number seven is a third generation Mitsubishi Eclipse coming with a three liter V6 making around 200 horsepower, which makes this one one of the fastest cars on this list. Um, it's definitely a great bang for your buck car. And you can go with the second gen, Hello. but they're a little less powerful. They do have an engine that can hold more, more power though. So pick your poison, you know, if you get the third gen, it comes with more power, but the engine can't handle as much power. The second gen comes with less power, but the handle can, the engine can handle more power. So it's just, you know, you gotta choose your thing there. Um, the Eclipse is an extremely underrated car. Not a lot of people go with the Eclipse as their first choice, but there is a tight knit community for them. Once you find that community, you will be set. Their community is very, very loving. 
because there's so little of them so they all love each other these cars also have a history of being the evo's little brother so a lot of the evo parts fit into the eclipse which i never knew but i find very interesting um besides that mitsubishi eclipse is also front wheel drive okay number six is the 2012 nissan altima but you will there's two engines for them you will only find the 2.5 liter inline four not the 3.5 liter v6 for under type 2000 uh but the 2.5 liter made 170 horse though so that's definitely enough for a first driver these cars honestly look really clean when done right and aren't modifying modified that much which is kind of surprising because i think they look really good so i don't know why they never get modified but they aren't um the coupe looks a lot better but it doesn't make a difference in performance of the same car as one has two doors one has four doors um you'll find the sedans for under two thousand dollars you will not find the coupes for under two thousand dollars but once again these cars are front wheel drive they are also the newest car on this list which is a big bonus considering all the extra technology to keep a new driver on the road um but since they are new they also have a very very small community for them and it's going to be very 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 hard for you to figure out how to work on them number five is the mark 5 volkswagen golf or volkswagen jetta coming with a two liter inline four making 150 horse or you could get the 2.5 liter 2.5 liter five cylinder making 200 horse but that one's going to be a tad more expensive these cars have a huge community around them i mean you, you get into the car scene one of the first cars you learn about is the jetta it's civic jetta and like supra those are like the three cars that you learn about because they're so they're everywhere and they have such a big community for them they have both the jetta and the golf for whichever driving standards you need if you need a hatchback go with the golf if you don't need the hatchback go with the jetta if you like whichever one you like better to pick that one they're the same car um they are extremely fun to drive but they are front wheel drive so just keep that in mind i'm starting to notice a trend here there's so many little front wheel drive cars but a little fun fact about these cars is that they shoot flames like crazy but get ready for the your card isn't a build bro you put bags and tie wheels on a car that's not a build bro you don't gotta build just get ready for those memes because that's what everybody does to them the cars on this list um they're also rear wheel drive so just warning you guys if this is going to be your first car just be careful okay be careful in that little snowy area you'll already have the clout because of how cool your car is so you don't have to show it off you can start going sideways you don't have to do that you don't have to do that your car is already cool okay just stay safe that's all i'm trying to say is just stay safe um once again be ready for the your car blows up bro yo yo how's your engine doing bro is it blown up yet because well honestly those are kind of true Mazda rx8 engine likes to blow up be careful with that like i said this car is specifically for the people that already know a lot about mechanics do not get this if you don't know a lot about mechanics number three is the honda prelude coming with a 2.2 liter inline four making 200 horsepower on the dot which is once again sitting on a front wheel drive platform i absolutely love the looks of these cars and i love the community around them um these cars are extremely underrated in my opinion when you talk about hondas you talk about the rsx you talk about the integra or you talk about the civic nobody ever brings up the prelude why the prelude is a sick looking car they look super clean when done right um and it just makes no sense to me like why do people go for the civics or integras instead of the prelude come on man i don't, I don't really know um one thing about the prelude they are all going to be at high mileage it's going they're all of them are going to be having that paint fading look to them they're going to be having you know you're gonna to have to restore the headlights it's going to be some cracks in it it's going to be a lot of dust on it some scratch marks from rocks or something they will have been driven that's what the prelude is meant for it's meant to be driven and it will have been so just keep that in mind so number two is the volvo s60 coming with a 2.4 liter inline five and a 2.5 liter inline five turbocharged engine which is the one we're going to be talking about the 2.5 liter turbo came with 300 horse sitting on top of an all-wheel drive platform which easily makes this the fastest car on this list it's the best bang for your buck car on the list all-wheel drive platforms are good for that little winter winter guy over there you know and it has 300 horsepower and it has a turbo from the factory for under two thousand dollars how is that even possible let me tell you how it's possible the ones under two thousand dollars are going to have extremely high miles but it can be found if i'm being honest with you guys i really just wanted to put this car into the list because of how much i like it um these cars are so underrated so underrated 
once again, I highly doubt, I highly encourage rather, not highly doubt, I highly encourage you not to get one of these if you are not mechanically inclined because there is not that big of a community for them. And since they're a Volvo, parts aren't everywhere. It's going to be hard to fix these if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so number one is a doozy. Number one is the Volkswagen Beetle second gen. I know, I know. How is a Volkswagen Beetle a good car for a new driver that wants to get into the racing, you know, car scene? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it came with options like the 1.8 liter inline four, the 1.9 liter inline four diesel, and the two liter inline four. We will be talking about the two liter inline four, which made 150 horsepower sitting on top of a front wheel drive platform. Think about this, guys. Honda Civic, one of the world's most well-known cars for just about everything, right? It can be a sports car if you wanted to, it can be a daily driver if you wanted to. Well, that car only came with 100 horsepower. The Volkswagen Beetle came with 150 horsepower. They're both front-wheel drive platforms, so it's not like the Civic had a rear-wheel drive platform going for it. These cars, if I'm gonna be honest, these cars are your take it or leave it kind of car. You either hate it or you love it. But personally, I love them, and I think I love them only because of the fact that they're so funny. Um, I don't think they look good. <laughs> we, we all don't think they look good, but they are funny looking cars and they're cool just because of how funny they are. And it's like, you know, with the Prius, how they're funny looking cars, but they're not cool because they're a Prius. See, the Beetle is a funny looking car, but it's still cool because it's a Beetle. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're going to be a pain how to lurk, work on, how to learn to work on them though, because the engine bay is so tiny, but that's okay since you own a Beetle and it's impossible to get mad at it since it looks so gosh darn cute. I mean, if you're getting mad at a Beetle, you're just a negative guy, I don't wanna be friends with you anymore. But just be ready for the you own a Beetle memes because the whole car is basically a meme. Whoa, you're probably wondering, how did Mark get up here? Is he a magician? Well, actually, yes, I am a magician, but I didn't use magic to get up here. I actually just walked up here when I turned off the camera for this, this clip. Um. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Mark Roden. If you guys want some Smooth Stance merch, look at this. Somebody that's not clean. Beige color, Smooth Stance. A little, little, little creepy on them because it's getting to Halloween time. Um, if you guys want something like this, www.smoothstance.com slash shop or the link will be in the description down below and you can click on that. They'll bring you right to the page. They're not on the website yet because I'm still making them, but we will have them in this color. We will have them in pink. We will have them in a burgundy reddish color, black and white, and maybe gray. I'm also looking at a light blue and I'm also looking at a light green and a bright yellow. So we'll see how all those go, but we're gonna have a bunch of different designs too. So if you don't like this design, we'll have one that says smooth stance in a box lettering platform with MMXIX going down the back, which stands for 2019 and Roman numerals, the date that we started Smooth Stance. And yeah, if you guys like the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you guys know exactly when I upload. And comment, if you made it this far, if you made it this far, comment, how did Mark get into that room? Because nobody really knows, except for me. Anyway guys, have a nice day.